heat capacity, and specific heat capacity. The heat capacity of a substance is defined as the amount of heat required to raise its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. Heat capacity is measured in joules per degree Celsius. Heat capacity of a substance depends on few factors. The first one is the type of substance. Given two beakers heated in turn for the same time by the same Bunsen burner. The first beaker contains 1 kg of paraffin, while the other beaker contains 1 kg of water. The result shows, the temperature rise of the paraffin is about twice that of the water. Thus, paraffin has a smaller heat capacity than an equal mass of water. Figure shows, two beaker containing different masses of water, heated in turn for the same time by the same Bunsen burner. The temperature rises in the first beaker, will be higher than the other beaker containing more water. Hence, it can be concluded that the temperature rise of substance depends on its mass. The water in the first beaker is heated for one minute, while the second beaker is heated by the same burner for five minutes. The temperature of the first beaker is lower than second beaker shows, that the temperature rise of a substance depends on the amount of heat supplied. The specific heat capacity of a substance is defined as the heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of the substance by 1 degree Celsius. The unit of specific heat capacity is joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. Its symbol is C. The heat Q, received or lost when a substance of mass M, undergoes a temperature change of theta. The table shows the specific heat capacity of various substances. Substances with high specific heat capacities can contain a lot of heat energy, and so it takes a long time to heat them up, and also a long time for them to cool down. Note that water has an unusually high specific heat capacity, and thus serves as a very good cooling agent. Heat capacity and specific heat capacity are two different quantities. The word specific is used in physics when referred to a unit quantity of a physical quantity. Thank you for taking time to watch this.